Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss three winter chainsaw tips to help protect your saw during the course of the wintertime cutting season. So without further ado, maybe I'll think of more, but I can think of three right now off the top of the head. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, everybody, if you like that intro, that's just a glimpse here of what we do here on the homestead. But before we get into it, I would like to thank three people. I would like to thank um, Josh, Judd, and K.W. Hawkins. Uh, I'm going to do three each video. I got a bunch of emails of people sending me their outdoor boilers, their firewood setups. So I would like to thank those three people, and I'll overlay a photo. Again, that's Josh, Judd and kw hawkings and i'll overlay or I've, or maybe i've already overlaid i don't know we'll see where the editing takes us but i'll overlay their three outdoor boiler uh wood heating setups i love it it's fun keep sending me emails homestead j35 uh at gmail.com and without further ado folks let's get right into it all right folks first thing we're going to talk about uh for wintertime chainsaw use is your bar oil now your bar oil today it's a 28 degree day here in new hampshire not freezing cold enough but not freezing um but bar oil if you you need to read the label on your bar oil and see if it is an all season or a summer or a winter oil um what i do is and then this is debated um some people use kerosene diesel i like to use an automatic transmission fluid and i thin out because atf is thin as you can hear listen to this hopefully you can hear <laughs> oh there it goes this stuff is like molasses and now this is rated for all season use but i thin it out now jay what ratio do you thin it out well just experiment do maybe three quarters bar oil to one quarter uh, transmission fluid, find a ratio that works. Um, I still play, five years later, I'm still playing around with ratios with what works better. Um, on my Husqvarna 257 here, this is a really long bar, so I like the thinner oil, and I have the pump turned all the way up because I need to lubricate that whole bar. So that is step number one, is make sure you have either buy a winter grade bar oil or um, you can thin out, I've heard guys, I've never done it, I've heard guys use, like I said, kerosene, or um, I use the automatic transmission fluid. So that's tip number one. So let's roll into tip number two. All right, so next thing you want to um, be concerned about is your cold weather shutter. Now, generally, these this is how it works on Echoes. I'm sure other saws have it as well, uh, but I can only attest to um, my Echo here. But this is my CS490. Pop this cover off. I always, anytime you're working under here, pull your choke out, make sure nothing falls into your uh, intake. But if we pop this off here, do you see this? This little shutter here? This is a cold weather shutter. Now, I don't know how well you can see. This says summertime mode with a sun, and then it says wintertime mode with a little snowman. Yeah, you could see that. So, what this does is, if you put this on winter mode here, see, snowman facing out. This is your cylinder head here. What this does is, this allows this motor to suck in w warm air off the cylinder head, which helps the saw run better when it's dead of winter. Now you wanna make sure you switch this back in the summertime because you don't wanna be sucking in the hot air in the hot summer. That's how you cook your saw. But this will allow the hot air from the cylinder head to come inside to your, call it intake chamber, and your saw will run better. So make sure you switch over and double check your saw to see if it has a, um, cold weather shutter so that is step number two so let's put this together and then we'll discuss step number trace all right folks so last step here or one of the last steps i actually just thought of a second or uh, th fourth one uh bonus video there's actually four winter tips um is chain tension so let's talk about chain tension here uh, in the winter time you got metal on metal things heat up Generally, um, some guys run their chains a little bit looser, some guys a little bit tighter. 
I don't care how you run it, but after you're done cutting, you got to keep in mind that your chainsaw bar and your chain and everything is warm. So if you set your, if you're a guy who runs your chain pretty tight, maybe you do a lot of slash work, brush work, um, you got to consider if you're keeping your saw like I am out in the cold weather, um, when everything cools down, that chain's going to really tighten. And you'd be surprised how much it can actually tighten. I learned this mistake last year. I came out here and I thought somebody messed with my saw because that thing wouldn't even turn. It was that tight because I ran it, I adjusted it, I tightened it, I ran it, it got nice and hot, and then it was like five below that day. And I came out here and the tension, it was it was tighter than a guitar string. So anyways, that's tip number three, is make sure that you, when you're done, give your chain some slack, uh, back it off a turn or two on your chain adjuster. Um, that way, if you, especially if you store your saws out in the cold here, like I do, um, you don't want to come back out here and that chain will be super tight. You'll be actually very surprised. I've made that mistake before. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, and this should probably be tip number one. Wear your chainsaw chaps. You have no excuse for the winter time to be not wearing your chaps. Yes, I know there's been videos where I haven't worn chaps. I get it. Summertime, I mean, safety is number one, but summertime, I get it. It's hot. You're trying to, you know, stay cool, whatever. Wintertime, wear your chainsaw chaps. If you have a pair of chainsaw chaps that have cuts in them, rips in them, small little nicks, get rid of them. They're compromised. You can't have any imperfections uh, on these when you're running them. So that is tip number four. Um, injuries too. I guess this is part of tip number four. You will bleed out faster in the winter time um, because you are colder and your blood is thinner. You will bleed out faster and you have a harder time clotting um, blood. My wife is a nurse. She, you know, she she beat safety into me a long, long time ago. But in the winter time, you will bleed out faster and you will die faster from a chainsaw injury. So this should probably be step number one. But hopefully, you guys watch this whole video. I'll try to keep it short. Without further ado, those are four chainsaw tips. So again, um, check your bar oil, adjust it, thin it out, do whatever you need to do. Tip number two is check your cold air intake shutter. Make sure it's on winter mode. Um, so you're sucking in that warm air off the cylinder. Uh, tip number three was chain tension. Make sure you loop back your chain off after you're done because things are going to freeze. Yes, guys, it shrinks when it's cold. So <laughs> hopefully somebody caught that. If you stayed through that video and you caught that, leave me a comment below. Uh, and anyways, tip number four, wear your safety chaps. You will die a lot easier in the wintertime. As scary as that sounds from a chainsaw injury. So wear your chaps. There's no excuse. Keeps you warm. I love winter cutting. That's my favorite time of the year. So without further ado, folks, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like, next video, I'm going to be bucking with my 257. Uh, we just dropped a couple more trees. So yes, we're going to be doing some bucking in the next video. So without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a big thumbs up. If you learned something today, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.